Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a spotlight animation using the powerful morph transition in Microsoft PowerPoint. So I have here a photo of the One Piece live adaptation characters. This is the picture we're going to use in the tutorial. The first thing that we need to do is to add a circle shape that will cover our entire slide. Simply drag the circle until it covers the entire slide, ensuring that it is also positioned in the center and middle. Now that we have added this, the next thing is to add a large and long rectangular shape that will also cover the entire slide. Make sure it is long enough for the slide and big enough and also adjust its position to the center or middle of the slide. So the next step is to send this rectangular shape to the back, right click, and then send to back. And then we will select first the rectangular shape, and then followed by the circle shaped. Under shape format, we will click the merge shape. And then choose the subtract option. With this, we were able to create a shape that has a hole in the middle which will serve as our spotlight. Now we will make sure that our shape is in front and we will rename it using the double exclamation format so that it will be morphed effectively later. So the next step is to adjust the color of the shape. So I'm gonna change its color to black and adjust its transparency to about 20%. After that, we will remove the outline as well for the shape. The next thing we're going to do is to duplicate the slide and then adjust this shape so that it can focus on our first character which is Luffy. So let's make this shape smaller so it will be focused on the face of Luffy. Make sure that it is positioned in the center and in the middle. If you are satisfied, duplicate the slide again and then move this shape, spotlight shape, into the next character. So we're going to adjust this. Let's make it smaller again so that it can focus on our next character. Do this until we reach our last character in the photo. Now that we're all set, we can now add some additional design for this slide, for example, the name of the characters. Let's just add here a text box and type the name of the characters. For example, in this slide, we have Luffy. We're going to change the color to white to make it visible and make it large. And change the font to like Bebas. So let's adjust the text box and let's make it bigger and change the text format into a transformed like this and just adjust it to the slide so let's make this a bigger and once you're satisfied we're going to change the naming scheme of this to a double exclamation format so that it can also be morphed later so we're going to copy this and then paste it on the next slide so that we can just change the name for the next characters. For example, here we have Sanji. Just copy that and then paste it again on the next slide. And just like that, copy again and then paste it on the next slide. Nami and then copy and then paste. And lastly, we have Zoro. And once we're done, we can copy this first and then paste it on our first slide and move this upward so the direction of the morph will start here or maybe outside the red or black rectangular shape and then select all slides and apply the morph transition we can change the duration to 1.5 and here is the final output for this tutorial with the morph transition, we have effectively created a spotlight animation effect in Microsoft PowerPoint. And that's basically it. I hope you have learned something from this video. Again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.